Two years ago, I was trying to understand how I could become rich, but quickly realized I had to overcome the hardest part. That was to get my first $100,000. I finally found out why it's so hard to start growing your wealth. However, I could have saved a lot of money and time, so I hope I'm able to save you from all the mistakes that I had to learn from. Okay, let's start. A billionaire investor once said, the first 100,000 is tough but you gotta do it. During my journey, I noticed that the hardest part was actually the dedication and time that's needed to get there. You could start investing $1,000 per month. Still, it would take six years to reach that crazy goal. However, I'll tell you how you could speed this up later in the video. Once you save or invest your first 100,000, you'll have a lot more capital to play with that will ultimately help you reach higher milestones. You can now invest more into real estate, crypto, and stocks. These are currently the most popular investments that most people are looking into. But what can you do to make your 100,000 turn into a million? It's pretty simple. Just buy art. Digital artist Beeple, final bid, $69 million. Okay, I'm just joking. With real estate, you're able to buy fixer uppers or rental properties. Fixer uppers are properties that need repairs to make them nice and livable so you can sell them for hire. Now, rental properties are a popular choice too because tenants pay you passive income, any money earned that does not require too much effort. At the start, I tried to increase my passive income streams, but then I realized I didn't have enough money invested to make a difference, so I went ahead and looked for another way to invest. Even though real estate is a great way to grow your money, it's definitely not the best way for some people. The luxury with crypto and stocks is that you can do both of them in the comfort of your home. Crypto might be leaning more towards the gambling side, but it might be something to look into if you're interested in certain projects or communities. On the other hand, stocks have a company backing it, so you can look through their financial statements to see if you're interested into investing into them. Now that I talked about the importance of reaching $100,000 and how it'll help you in the future, I can now explain the best investment you can do right now that'll speed up the process. With your current income, I would invest into a new skill that pays me more than what I'm currently getting paid. This could mean going to trade school, college, or maybe learning on your own. I've wanted to become a YouTuber for the past eight years and I've been slowly upgrading my equipment and trying to learn how to make my videos better by watching tutorials, courses, and other YouTubers. Uh, I just made a new channel on YouTube. Investing in a career will be one of the best investments you can do right now. But I also want to mention, I would never recommend quitting everything to pursue a dream. I currently work another job to support this dream and worst case scenario, we'll have enough to pivot to something else. It might feel very stressful thinking about all this, but don't give up. Once you find a good paying career, I would start investing. If you invest into a Roth IRA, you don't need to pay taxes on the amount you take out in the future, which is a great option if you believe that tax rates will be going up. Stonks. Okay, this sounds really good. There has to be a catch with them. Well, with retirement accounts, you won't be able to take out your investment until you're 59 and a half years old. Unless you want to get hit with a penalty, which just ruins the entire purpose of them, I would invest into a brokerage account and just pay taxes on the amount you invest and sell. However, what should you invest into? Lots and lots of options. <coughs> Probably won't be a good idea though. Index funds are funds that contain many stocks in a particular index, typically for more long-term investors. To avoid a lot of risk, I decided to go this route because I would be investing into the biggest companies in the US. With stocks, you can make an insanely high return, but it's going to be a lot more riskier. Here are some books that talk about stock picking if you're interested. It's good if you know what you're doing, but it's definitely time consuming and difficult to do. Or you just might get lucky. His initial investment is estimated to be around fifty to $200,000. It's important to keep in mind that investing is not gambling. So before you go all in on that random penny stock you found, do a lot of research because you could lose a lot of money if you're not careful. When I first started to invest, I thought I knew everything. I would be reading the chart graphs trying to predict when a stock would be going up or down and I actually made a little bit of money like this. But most of the time I would be losing money because no one could predict the markets. If that was the case, everyone would be trying to. Yo, just look at this. View everything you're currently making as seed capital for a better career or to start investing. It has helped me increase my income by just focusing on these two. I used some of the money that I had to buy some equipment to start editing for YouTubers. I was able to make some money and now I'm putting some of that money back into this channel. This is great, but what will help you stay on track with this goal? I know I've been there when I set a goal and then a couple days later completely forgot about it. To avoid this, we can create a vision board or a list of things that you want to do. 
I like to keep mine fairly short because if it's too long, I'm going to feel overwhelmed and not do any of it. A long term goal is just made up of a bunch of short term goals. So set some attainable ones that you can do right now that will benefit your target of hitting $100,000. You got this. During my journey, I made sure to set some time for myself too. Just like I wanted my money to grow, I also wanted to grow as a person. I know, kind of cheesy, but time's gonna pass regardless. Might as well enjoy the present and prepare for the future. Even doing all these steps won't guarantee that you become rich. Like I said earlier, this is gonna require a lot of time and dedication to hit this huge goal. I'm currently on this journey right now and currently focusing on getting a good paying career, then paying down any debt that I might have, and then I'm gonna start investing. I still have a long ways to go, but something I did learn on this journey is that just take it one step at a time. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, and here's another video that I put a lot of effort in. I'll see you all over there.